So we are recording uh, the session now. Um, so the agenda for today, we have three items. Uh, it's a very short agenda. We're reviewing the action items, and then we will talk about uh, the two drafts that we have an adoption poll for. And then if there's any other business we want to talk about, uh, feel free to uh, um, to mention it. I'm not seeing the, okay, if anyone's raising their hand, okay, there you go. Okay, good. Um, okay, I think I had the action items open. Let me flip to it right away. Uh, the first action item that we have um, is on a draft um, first nibble, MPLS first nibble. Um, the latest we, um, or the latest re record on update uh, was the draft was about to expire um, and it was during the holidays after uh, the new year. Um, I did check the draft. Um, it was refreshed, so I'm ready to take in an, a new update on it if uh, any of the authors are present. All right, I think I'm one of the co-authors, uh, but I don't have any extra information. Okay. Um, um, given IETF one sixteen is uh, um, is coming up, um, I you know I, I think we we need to decide how we're going to get the ball rolling on this one back again. Um, so maybe um, an action item on the chairs to reach out to the authors. Uh, to see if they're going to uh, pre present this again, or what's their plan? Uh, so there yeah. were a couple of items that were open in the, in the discussions here. I can go back in history, but uh, I'm not sure how to resolve them, or you know how to do we do we discuss them in the working group with the working group. So I think it's a good idea to give the share a action item. Okay. All right, that's number two should be. All right, so sorry, the sorry. second yes, yes, yes sorry, please. sorry, I had my, my hand up on, on that last one. Oh, the first okay. I, I think Thank us, you. us authors need to get together and 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 um decide how to progress. I think I thought that there was sort of Consensus amongst the authors that it's worth progressing, and then nothing's happened. So um, I think we need to move it forward. That's true, Matthew. That uh, that's what I have recorded at one time that uh, a meeting was supposed to happen. Uh, I'm not sure that happened at all. Uh, there was some coordination needed between Kiriti and Stewart. You're talking about the the, the same draft, right? Uh, first nibble. Yes. Right. Uh, are you proposing an a, a roadmap to, or you know, how how to uh, resolve this? Uh, yeah. Do you want it? But, mm. um, Go ahead. Well, I think. Yes, I think somebody needs to pick up the pen and and. And at least be able to revise it. Um, I don't know if Crete is still active on it. Tony, Tony do you know if, or John, do you, do you have any contact with Crete on it? 
Sorry, no. But okay, uh, Matthew, since we just gave the shares and action item to contact the uh, contact the uh, author, it should be solved, shouldn't it? It should be part of the, what the working group shares need to do. Yeah. Okay, I think it's still good that we record that we're looking for a um, new editors uh, to hold the pen. Well, only if Kiriet is willing to step down. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah. talking about replacing the editor necessarily, but you, I think somebody, if Kriti doesn't have time to do it, then somebody else can also help. Yep, that's true. Okay, I don't know if I formulated it this way, but uh, there can be multiple editors as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm not suggesting a new editor. It may be an additional editor. Additional, additional. Okay. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Uh, the second item, uh, moving on to the next one, um, we discussed in the past. Um, the existence of MPLS uh, ap applications, I call them, or um, uh, metadata that uh, is carried in MPLS uh, after the stack, and how it would uh, coexist with MNA solutions. Um, we've, uh, um, yeah, so we've recorded. Um, we need to put it on the agenda, but then. There was a suggestion to add it into the draft JAGS. Um, um, I'm not sure if that happened. Probably it did. Suggest taking use cases and describe uh, how it is encoded in the solution proposed. Um, I proposed this be written and tracked in a separate draft rather than in, uh, in JAGS draft. But then there was an opinion that uh, the intersection with non APP load, for example, beer and, and, and the such. Uh, the use case draft may document how different features may be used together. So this is this action item is still open. Uh, I don't see how who's assigned to move forward with it. But let me gather by, uh, you know, at least from draft JAGS. Uh, What's the status on it? And then I'll go to the queue as well. I see people want to uh, update on this. So, Matthew, you're at the top of the queue. Please go ahead. So, I think Tony had already written some kind of initial drafts a while ago that covered a couple of the use cases, but they, I don't know if they've been updated, and I don't know if Tony wants to talk about them on in, in the design team or... Because I I read them and they seem to be going down the right sort of right lines of what I was um, thinking. I, may I ask? Is it in draft jags? Right? I haven't. No, I it's not in draft. No, it's not the stuff in drafts. It's not. I don't think it's in draft jags. It's um. These are these are standalone drafts that show how to use the encapsulation for different use cases. Or well, each draft did talks about oh. a specific use case. So I think there was I'm trying to remember oh. which ones there were, but there were, there's two or three now. Yes. Okay. I remember uh, what you mentioning. Okay. I'll uh, let I'll give a chance to Tony to talk about it if he wants. But then Greg is at the top of the queue. So um Yes, uh thank you. Um yes, as uh Matthew uh pointed out uh Tony's uh draft uh, because I I looked at it before of um, editing my um, updating. Uh, Tony's draft uh, demonstrates how uh, JAG's uh, proposed solution uh, can be used for um, entropy information to be uh, supported in m and uh, And uh, Tony and I worked on updating a draft that demonstrates how um, in stack data can be used uh, to carry IOM uh, direct export. So, in fact, now 
at least I'm aware of two individual drafts that demonstrate applicability of uh, draft JAGs uh, to do um, two use cases that are in a work group adopted uh, document on m &A use cases. So these are entropy information and uh, IAM support with okay. the direct export option. Okay, I, I understand. I think what you, with the approach we're taking or have taken, I think uh, uh, what I'm hearing is we're happy with it. So basically documenting each use case in a separate on how it will be solved using the solution in a separate draft. Um, so we have already documented uh, two, two use cases, maybe the Greg is mentioning. Um, the remainder ones um, plan is to have separate drafts doc in describing uh, how the solution addresses them. So is that that is my understanding. And with this, I think we are ready to close this action item. Uh, or we're happy with the way we're addressing it. I'll keep it open for next time, but I think that's the direction. I don't see any objections to the approach we are taking, uh, so feel free to raise your hand if you ob object. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, moving on to the next one. Um, <clears throat> so we have the use cases draft. Um, there were a couple of uh, reviews that we've done on it and uh, um, hopefully some, some more uh, comments and feedback will come. Uh, we have assigned Jimmy to review it. Uh, and and we talked about uh, generic delivery functions uh, to be presented again. Um, I'm not sure this is uh, probably this is needed uh, after the discussions on adoption, but um, and I'll try to see if I can reach out to Jeffrey about this. Um, and on this topic as well, there were some comments during the review. Um, the authors of MA use cases, um, you know, the plan at least is to meet and discuss the, how to address them. And we will have a next update uh, before IETF 116. Uh, this is as a co author of the document uh, coming from me. Uh, but if anyone else from the co authors wants to, you know, has something else to update and planning to update, feel free to uh, mention it. Okay, uh, I see someone raised their hand. I think it's Jimmy. Jimmy go ahead. Yeah, yeah. For the use case of network slicing, I have done a review, and I can send it the comments out. Uh, do you want it to be on the list or directly yes. to the authors? To the uh, list. Actually, and copy actually uh, G, you actually sent it to. I thought you sent it to the list, but looking at it now, you only sent it to me. Please send it to the list. Okay. Sure. Okay. Update from co authors. Okay, I think that was the last uh, AI, and with this, I will save.
and go back to the agenda. <clears throat> Okay, so the second uh, the second item on the agenda was uh, the adoption of the two drafts. Um, you know, I um, I could speak, but I don't want to. But let me see if Loa wants to talk about this uh, more. Uh, Loa, can you speak? Is is are you comfortable to speak? Or let me know. Uh, I I can try. Um, I'm not that organized at the moment, but. Uh, we uh, the MNA shares had a meeting on uh, last Tuesday, two days ago, and actually agreed on the uh, statement you see uh, on the on the screen just now. Uh, the thing we want to look at today is not reviewing the statement. The statement says that there will be consensus call sent out on Monday, end of business day uh, on Monday, and uh, actually outline what will be in those statements. Uh, the state, what we want to do is actually looking at uh, the actions we need to take uh, based on the upcoming uh, consensus calls on the working group adoption polls. Uh, so I think we need to look at what on, what do we really want to do with the draft JAGs. I have a pretty good idea. I heard from some of the authors saying that this should be a simple thing to do. Uh, I think we need to look at the um, framework requirements and use cases to see if uh, we would need to make any notes explanation or changes to those documents also and i would like uh, the current authors groups of those drafts uh, commit to uh, do, do what we actually agree to do i think that's uh, do i need to send in anything more uh yeah, I think one highlight is that uh, the poll is still open till, I mean, we're closing the poll uh, next Monday. Uh, we, uh, we gave t there there was a new IPR that was disclosed recently, and uh, we wanted to give more time for uh, for the working group to comment. Uh, so, if anyone wants to say something else, I see people still commenting on the on the list. So it's good uh, that. Feedback is still coming in. That is one thing we wanted to say, Lola, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, and if anyone wants to, I don't see anyone raising their hand, so we'll, but feel free to uh, come to the mic if you want. <coughs> okay. I uh, see Matthew in the queue. Go ahead. Uh, did I did I hear you say Laura, that you were expecting the authors of the requirements and framework drafts and so on to also update, it, uh, look at their drafts and update them, update them yeah. accordingly if we don't go ahead with PSD at the moment. Yes, that's what I said, and I included uh, M and A uh, the uh, uh, draft JAGs. That we actually talk, we already already said in the statement that we want to uh, move the uh, PSD out of that draft and put it somewhere that we where we can revive it in the future if it's uh, necessary. And I also think that the uh, authors of the use cases need to look at their draft and see if there are something that. It may, might be a prioritization or something, but uh, we, we need to make sure that we have the ISD use cases solid and uh, the PSD use cases uh, documented for future use if, ne if necessary. So that's what I tried to say. Okay, so you're not saying remove 
requirements for PSD. You just need to make sure that because I don't think that we can remove requirements for PSD if there's use cases that need PSD. Sure, if we come to, come to the situation where we will, and just at the moment, I haven't found, I tried a couple of times to demonstrate that we need uh, PSD and uh, uh, I've been shot back at and I think I had to agree that uh, it will work without PSD for the moment, but uh, I'm not sure for the future. So if we get into a situation where we need PSD, we should be ready to take it on. But for the time being, we work with the ISD only. Okay. And I don't really understand without looking at the text in the draft how this should be documented, but I hope it will. Yeah, I think I think one of the one of the motivators was making sure that we didn't have too much data pushed into the label stack too much ancillary data. So if we have use cases that require large amounts of ancillary data that explode the, 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 the stack. Um, uh, I thought I had one, but both Tony and Greg came back and said, no, no, it's not necessary. So, uh, and I understand what they said. Okay. But uh, yeah, we, we might find one and then we need to go back to PSD. And we should, get a kind of a simple rule on how, how much data can we put into the stack. And I understand that we are talking about the m and label plus maybe three more LSEs. And that's kind of what we can use for ISP. And we also, we also have to think about combinations of um, combinations of use cases as well. Because that might be true for that might be reasonable and true for a single isolate you know use use case used in isolation, but but um, not for not if you're using that combined with another one on the same LSP. You're saying that if we had more than one network action in one message, that might change the situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to look at that. I don't. I. I I'm, we're not. We are not. Uh, doing a hard exclusion of PSD, but we hope to move forward for the time being without addressing the PSD, but keep it open for, for the future. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, Matthew, thanks. I think you're done. Uh, can I? Yeah. Okay, R Rakesh, you go, you're next. Go ahead. Yeah, it, uh, just a comment on uh, PSD. Um, uh, so the, uh, there is a draft on IOAM for carrying, uh, recording the data on each hop, uh, like interface ID and timestamps. Um, and uh, uh, we have been talking about the draft and it's a PSD use case draft. Um, so I, I, it is my opinion that we do need PSD uh, without advocating a particular solution. But the requirement to do PSD in IOAM is there. Okay. Anyone else wants to go? Okay, why you? Yes, I just want to mention there are also some other jobs uh, talking about using the PSD. I, uh, it's also mentioned in the use case draft. I, uh, I don't see it still there, but uh, uh, the separate draft I uh, submit a while ago about using uh, PSD to support uh, segment routing uh, to store the segment routing list, uh, label list, and uh, um, similarly can um, store the other parameters and uh, uh, functions. That's what that's what SRV six can do. Uh, it's only achievable is uh, using PSD. Well, you you said that you submitted a draft to MPS yes. working to MPS. Yes. 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 Oh, I don't remember we discussed it in one of our. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have chance to talk about it yet. Okay. Yeah. Mm, you know, if uh, time permits, and we can.
put it on the agenda of uh, next time we meet. Um, yeah. And I do want to mention that there are a couple of, uh, you know, Rakesh is pointed to one, uh, you're pointing to another one, and there's a third option as well that, uh, uh, that is in that was presented to MPLS working group a while back, years back. I think Stewart pointed it out. Uh, so all these are uh, ways to encode PSD data, and I think the design team has to at one time, you know, discuss those again. And I'll go back to the queue. And I see Greg. Go ahead, please. Yes, thank you. Um, I. Think that uh, it, it's 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 good to uh, look at um, proposals to use PSD and uh, see if that's the only way to uh, address these use cases. Uh, because um, as mentioned earlier today, um, the, we have a proposal for uh, supporting uh, in situ OEM. Uh, one of the trace options, uh, direct export uh, using ISD. So um, something that we need to discuss and uh, make a um, um, decision. And uh, just to mention, uh, I sent a request for presentation slot of our update to uh, IEM uh, DAX in M&A draft uh, for the joint session. So uh, I hope that um, uh, we we'll, we can have discussion uh, at the ITF one sixteen meeting. Okay, thank you, Greg. Yeah, we are collecting uh, uh, requests at the time, so your request will be recorded. Yeah, and uh, just to clarify, so I, I send it for uh, the joint session slot because MPL yeah. uh, slot is so um, short. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's no other uh, comment on this uh, section. Um, so we can move on. <clears throat> um, the the third item was the usual one, and then if, we, if there's anything we missed and dropped and we want to talk about, and it doesn't seem we have, um, but another chance to to the to the attendees if, uh, if anyone thinks uh, we should Tarek, talk. Uh, yeah. One thing uh, I need to ask. So for draft gags, I don't need. I don't know if. But Rakesh, you are the closest one to a pen holder on that draft, aren't you? In the meeting. Yeah, I can uh, hold a pen. Um, yeah. If, um, so okay. that was my so, question asking what the next step for it is. Okay. So the next step is actually to try to clean it. The next step is that we accept it as a working group document. You publish a document with a working group name that is not changed in any way, but the administrative information. So that is zero zero version. And we start making the uh, cleaning up on the PSD side in uh, version zero one. So uh, that, that, that should be uh, understood. And the zero one, uh, we all actually need to send uh, suggestions and updates uh at least the important updates to the working group to find out if we have consensus to do it before so posting. Okay? Huh? yes yes uh so before posting zero one the changes uh, will be shared with the mailing list and if working group is okay then zero one will be posted uh you can do it that way if you post zero one you send a mail and say we have made the following changes and ask if they're okay, and then if it's not, you can go back. But mm -hmm. I prefer your yeah, I prefer your method to actually send out the changes first and get acceptance for them. But it, it depends a little bit on how important they are. If they are just editorial, 
you don't need to go to the working group for acceptance. You can just tell us that what you've done. If they are technical, you need to discuss it with the working group. Yeah, zero one will be only mechanical changes. Um, we, we would not increase the scope of it uh, in zero one. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so you uh, you understand what you want to achieve, and then for the requirement draft, Matthew, you're probably the closest thing to a closest to the being a pen holder on that. Are you kind of reasonably sure what we what you should do? Um, well, yeah, I think so. Um, I, I think I think though that, the, that my understanding is that the requirements draft at the moment is pretty pretty generic in terms of PSD. Oh uh, yeah, I hope so. It, it, it's yeah. not specific to its particular PSD solution. And I think we should, if we think, if we have a use case and we think that in the future we may need PSD, we should just keep the requirements in there, in there for PSD. I think that that's okay. Um, so for the framework, I guess that Tony is the editor. Are you? reasonably uh, sure what should happen to the the process that we need to go through for the framework document yes i'm in good shape on that okay good and then uh, use cases is that you tarek yep uh, are you kind of uh, on top of what needs to happen to the uh, uh, use case there. Yeah, um, um, use cases, we still want to describe the use cases that we want to tackle and how to solve them ISD or PSD is, is uh, you know, it's up to discussion and uh, in the solution that we are proposing. But yeah, I, I, uh, uh, I, I think I have an idea of what we need to do in the use cases and we have an update to make. Okay. I think, are there any other drafts that we need to look at at this moment? Mm. There is one draft. I will highlight the authors. I don't see them on the call. I asked them to come and present uh, in one of those design team meetings. Uh, um, but they said they will present in ITF 116. So this is a draft. They require an SPL label. They're asking for an SPL label. And we said uh, to them that MNA is a uh, one of the objectives is to allow applications to uh, to uh, request actions without uh, allocating SPL. So <clears throat> there is a draft. Uh, a short answer. There is a draft. Uh, that would like to get into the you you know one of the use cases, um, but it will be presented in IETF 116. And that's in the joint meeting, isn't it? I I am not sure what where, where did they request the slot. I'll okay. need to double check. Oh, well, please decide. So I think that is kind of a typical, or maybe not. Depends on what the actually requirement for the. New SPL is. Uh, wasn't there a mail on that draft saying that they can actually use an extended SPL? Yes, there was. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's up. This is why we need them to come present and see, uh, you know, uh, which is the best fit. Maybe they should just discuss the uh, extended SPL in MPLS and then go on and do the presentation of the details of the draft in the joint meeting could be depends on how much time we have okay okay i do see some uh, rakesh is raising his hand do you want to uh, is that on purpose rakesh 
Yeah, no, I just want it uh, just for my own understanding that um, the way I understood that um, uh, where we are with PhD is that uh, we need to um, rethink the solution for for PhD. But uh, the way I understood that it doesn't really change anything requirement of framework and use cases uh, documents. Um, and uh, but maybe I missed something if if that's not the understanding, if I'm not understanding correctly. I think that the what the, the chairs try to say and what I try to say today is that we need to look at those documents to see if there are changes that we need to do to them based on uh, that we want to go ahead with ISD uh, at the moment and hold uh, PSD for some time. And uh, for PSD solution, uh, I guess maybe it's not an agenda to discuss today. We would come up with a plan and say how we move forward and look at the proposals and things like that, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, when, when we have uh, material for a discussion, then maybe you should uh, bring it on to the agenda of the design team, yes. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> anything else on this? Noah? Not from me, I'm a campaign of. Okay. All right, I think we can stop here then and give you the remainder of the time. Uh, I'll stop, I'll start by stopping the recording.